What's going on guys, John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna to start to extend out our user profile for our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna to start to extend out our user profile, add more fields and things to it. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so in the last few videos, we've been kind of messing around with our profile, our user profile, and we have some things here. We've got your username, first name, last name, email, the password, and some other things that are like administrative type things and the date joined, right? So these are all the things that come with the Django authentication system, the user model that gets set up automatically with the Django authentication system. And this is great, this is a great starting point, but in the real world, you probably wanna add more things to this. You know, you might wanna have an author bio, you might wanna have a profile picture, there's all kinds of stuff you might wanna add to this. And it's kinda of actually a little hard if not impossible, to add things to the user profile. Instead, what we wanna do is create a whole other model and then just associate it with our user model with a one-to-one -one association, right? So if you're familiar with the database associations, this is gonna be super simple. If you're not familiar with it, it's also gonna be super simple. It's pretty, uh, pretty easy concept. So that's what we're gonna to start to do in this video. Now, there's a lot of moving parts to this in order to get this all up and running. In this video, we're just gonna sort of set it up and uh, discuss it a little bit and then uh, move on from there. So we've got our edit profile. Let's head back over to our code and let's clean some of this up. And what we wanna do is head over to our blog app here. And inside of here, let's see, we want our models.py file. Now we've got several models going on here. We've got our category, we've got our blog post model and stuff like that. Now the user model is not here. The user model is in our members directory under all of our Django authentication stuff, right? So we probably wanna create our model here. I guess it probably doesn't really matter, but uh, let's go ahead and just add it here. So I'm just gonna create this. And now in the past, we've already imported our user model because we used it other places inside of here. Like down here when we, we set up our likes system, when you like a post, right? So make sure that this is, is set up. So from Django contrib, auth models import user. If you didn't create the like system and you don't have this line here, add it right now because we definitely need this. So, all right, let's create a new class and let's just call this uh, profile. It's our user profile, or you could call it user profile or whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it profile. And this inherits models dot model as, as usual here. You can see all of these sort of do that, right? Just normal. Now inside here, we need to associate this model with our user model. And we, we do that with a one-to-one -one field, a one-to-one -one association. So basically what that says is, hey, this goes with the user model, right? Sort of. So we can call the same thing we want. Let's call this user. And this is gonna be in models dot uh, one, two, one field. And the one, the, the O and one, the T and two, the other O and one and the F and feel are all capitalized. So what do we want to associate this? We want to associate this with our user model. What one-to-one -one association do we want to create between this and our user model? And remember this user model is in our Django authentication system that's in our, let's see, members directory right here, right? All of this stuff. So we'll look at this in a bit. So, okay, we also need to say, hey, you know, we've already got some users set up, so uh, they're not associated just yet. So let's put null equals true. And then we also need to do on underscore delete equals models dot cascade. So basically if we delete our user, all of the users uh, profile stuff will also get deleted automatically. And we did the same thing down here uh, when we did this guy, and, and so that's cool. So, okay, so now this is really all we need to do to associate these two models. So now what else do we wanna add? Now we're gonna add a bunch of stuff, probably a profile picture and all kinds of other stuff, but for now, let's just do a bio, right? And I can just come down here and grab, for instance, like our old body. We use a models.text field, 
that's sort of like a box, you know? So we can copy this, and I'm just gonna paste this in. Oops, one too many equal two signs. Okay, so for now, we're just gonna leave it like this. We'll just have a user bio, right? Simple, and like I said, we'll add on to this in the future, but uh, for now, that's fine. So also, we want to be able to see this in our admin area and make it sort of more user friendly. So like down here, when we did this little guy, to return the title on the admin page itself so it doesn't just say uh, object on the screen or something like that. Let's just go ahead and copy this and add this in here. Be sure and tab over correctly. And instead of returning self.title, we want to return self.user. And this one's kind of a weird one. Let's go ahead and wrap this in a string function. Otherwise, we might get an error because this is more like an object than a string. So we want to make sure this is a string. So, all right, let's go ahead and save this. Now, while we're at it, while we're talking about the admin area, let's just go ahead and add this profile model to our admin area. So let's head over to our admin.py section. And up here, we want to also import profile. And then we need to register it. So we just copy one of these, paste it in, and change this to profile. Okay, so now this will show up on our admin page, our admin section, right? So, okay, we've created a pretty major change to our model. That means usually that we need to make a migration and push the migration. So let's do that real quick. So head back over to our terminal, control C to break out. Let me clear the screen here. And the command is always is python manage.py make migrations. We've done this a bunch of times. So we've got our migration. And then finally, python manage.py migrate. And that pushes the migration. So, okay, now let's go python manage.py run server to run our server. And let's head back over to the website and let's log in as admin. And now let's head over to our admin section. Remember this guy? And now we see profiles. Now, if we click on users and for instance, admin, there's nothing in here about a bio just yet. We could add it later. But if we come down here to profiles, we see there are no profiles yet. So let's add one. And which user do we want to add it for? Well, let's, use it. let's add it to user admin. It's our logged in user now. This is my admin user uh, bio. Right? So we can go ahead and save this. And here we, now we see admin. And we can click on it, and there it is. So if we want to come back here and add another one, we can pick one for Bob. This is Bob's bio. And now, of course, in the future, we'll create this to where this can all be done on the website itself. But for now, let's just knock these out real quick just so there's something there. Uh, this is Steve's bio. Save this. So, okay, that works. So how do we now access this stuff? Well, let's head back to the website real quick. And Let's hit our edit profile page and let's pull up our code and look at our edit profile page. And that is going to be in our members directory, I believe, in our templates, registration, edit profile. And if we just want to look at this to see that it's in there and that it's working, which is all we really want to do right now, let's create a couple more line breaks here. And let's just put this up on the screen so we can call user.profile and then dot bio. Now it's user first because this is our user model and we're getting all of this stuff on this page from the user model, right? And then dot profile because that's what we called our models.py class profile. I know it's capital here, but we reference it as lowercase. And then inside of here, we can reference anything that's in that model by slapping another period on it and just calling it. In our case, we only have one thing there. So bio is really the only thing we can access. So let's go ahead and save this. Head back over here and hit reload. And this is my admin user bio. And there we go. So if we come back here and click on profiles again and click on admin. This is my admin user bio. I just updated it. <laughs> right. Save it. Head back over here, hit reload. I just updated it. So there's our bio. Now, obviously, this is probably not where we want to put the bio. And, uh, you know, we need to set up something in here so that we can edit it. But in this video, I just wanted to talk about the user uh, association, associating another model with our user model, and then sort of getting it up and running. And that's how you do it.
And you know, in the last video, we looked at uploading images, it would be really easy now to create a little profile picture, we'll probably do that next. And uh, yeah, we're coming right along. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So they pay just $49 taxes, all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.